all right here we go wax tv and we are back it's been a long time coming uh just you know not to use the obvious excuse that everyone's been using for not putting out any content but the reality is uh wax is just hard to find right now and i'm one of those people that just refuse to pay uh, more than retail so i'm not into the whole reselling game and that's one of the reasons i haven't been posting anything uh but uh, this is a pretty fun video that I'm, I've been actually um, looking forward to putting together. Um, I have about 60 PSA cards that I'm going to showcase. I'm going to try to keep this video under 30 minutes if possible. Uh, it's a real fun one. A lot of Hall of Famers involved in this one. A lot of greats. Kobe, LeBron, uh, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, just to name a few. Are all going to be featured in this video and this video is brought to you exclusively by vengeance brand and vengeance brand only look them up on Instagram so without any further ado let's get this video started I don't know if you've seen that documentary malice at the palace but it was it was a great documentary love the way they put it together so I was kind of inspired to pick up some of the key uh, rookie cards that uh players that were involved in that whole incident and the first one i'm going to show you is this uh, jermaine o'neal this is the 96 sp jermaine o'neal rookie card this is in a mint nine i uh, got these dirt cheap i mean this is these are probably the only ones that are gonna, that are going to have the old flip just about every other card out uh, in this video has the the light house holder and I picked this one up as well. Same seller. Gave me a deal. The 96 Skybox Premium Jermaine O'Neal rookie card in a mint nine. It's a great documentary. If you haven't checked it out, highly recommended. And uh, this is another one. This was, this was a tough one to find. Uh, this is the 2000 Tops Reserve Steven Jackson in a near mint to mint eight. Cool card. Uh, not a lot of Steven Jackson rookie cards out there. This one is actually numbered on the back. 337 to 1499. Real good player, in my opinion. Um, yeah, just to show you, I'll just tilt the camera this way so you can see this tower of slabs that we are going to review. <laughs> review. <laughs> All right, so the next one up, another key uh, player in that documentary was Reggie Miller, and this is his 1988 Fleer rookie card in a near mint to mint eight. Now, uh, you'll see some tens in this video. Most of them are going to be eights, nines, a lot of nines. Uh, you'll still see your fair share of 10s. Reason being, every single card in this video, it's all PC. And this is probably the most expensive card I've paid for in this video. This is the 99 Topps Chrome Ron Artest Refractor. At the time, there was only one of these on eBay. Cut a deal with the guy. He accepted it. Still got it at a decent price, but might have paid a little too much for it. Uh, Ron Artest, good player. Possible Hall of Famer, you never know. 99 Tops Chrome Refractor, just a beautiful card, beautiful shine. Love that 90 shine. And next up, uh, I purchased this card because I recently, and it's on one of my previous videos, recently ripped open a box of the Skybox, and I just kind of want to compare what a 9 looks like and uh, pretty much submit any cards that I have that look better than this one from that rip. And this is the 1990 Skybox Dennis Rodman in a mint nine cool card um him and larry bird going at it it's a nice card and um i kind of uh organized these by player the best i could this is the 1992 tops archives dennis rodman and this is in a near mint to mint eight it's a pretty clean looking card and then i had to also pick up his rookie card the 88 Fleer Dennis Rodman near mint to mint eight um yeah these and tens are going for crazy amounts of money but still excited to have it in an eight and I was also able to pick up uh, from the same set the 1988 Fleer John Stockton rookie card and a near mint to mint eight as well a very underrated player hall of famer uh, to me the well top Three point guard of all, uh, you know, in the history of the league. Just an assist machine right here with John Stockton. Uh, next up 
is the 92 Topps Archives, Charles Barkley in a mint nine. Sweet looking card right there. I mean, it's not a rookie card, but, you know, 84 Topps uh, in the baseball design. That's kind of what this archive set did. They kind of used the baseball design for um, their respective rookie year. So this is what an 84 Topps Charles Barkley rookie card would have looked like. Looks pretty sweet. And uh, next up is... Um, I've, I've been looking to find a Hakeem Olajuwon rookie card for quite some time now. Um, kind of went the uh, econo uh, economy way and picked up his sticker. This is the 1986 Fleer sticker, Hakeem Olajuwon rookie card. It's an excellent to mint six. Other than this, this card being off-centered, can't really see anything else wrong with it it's just a beautiful card um you know there's really no staining on the back anything like that maybe down there on that bottom right corner but uh cool photo him and magic johnson we kind of leave that one on display for a while until we uh, find a cooler card to replace him with and then next up is the 1998 metal universe scotty pippen big up subset and that's in a near mint to mint eight Metal Universe are just amazing looking cards, and that is, uh, that's a keeper. Just everything in here is uh, just PC for life. And next up is another Scotty Pippen 97 Metal Universe in a near mint to mint 8. Very underrated card, in my humble opinion. And look at that. So much going on in this picture. I mean, wow. Amazing looking card. And uh, next up is the 1992 Topps Archives. Scotty Pippen in a mint nine. <sighs> Beautiful looking card. I mean, this card just screams nostalgia. Classic 87 Topps border. I mean, it's just a great looking card in a mint nine. Um, 99, uh, 1989 Flair. Scotty Pippen second year. And this one's in a mint nine. It's a cool card, cool photo. It looks like he's running the point right there. And next up, of course, had to get his rookie card. This is the 1988 Fleer Scotty Pippen rookie card. This one's in an excellent to mint six. Um, yeah, these cards are going for crazy amounts too in higher grades, sevens, eights, nines, and tens. Um, was able to get a good deal on this six. Actually, a really good deal. And just... I'm excited to have this in the collection. And next one up is the probably my favorite card in this video, the 92 Tops Archives, Michael Jordan. And this one is in a mint nine. It's just an amazing looking card with that 84 Tops design. Um, it's not a rookie card, but man, this is probably the cleanest looking. Now, vintage, I mean, I hate saying vintage because, you know, to me, this stuff is more, um, I don't know, maybe ultra, ultra vintage, if you want to call it that. But uh, this is one of the best Michael Jordan cards I've ever seen. Got that in a mint nine. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave that on display for a while. Next up is the uh, 1992 Stadium Club Michael Jordan. This one is in a near mint to mint eight. Uh, this one's a little rarer than the base. You can see down there, bottom, member's choice. Not too many of these are out there. And excited to have this card. It's a nice looking photo. Ninety four SP Championship, Michael Jordan, near mint to mint eight. Nice looking card. With the forty five. Man. Miss upper deck. Really wish. That would somehow, some way, find out a way to produce basketball cards again. Just cards in general. Um, on the back, it looks like he's making a free throw with his eyes closed. <laughs> Such a cool card. And next up, we have the GOAT. 2006 Bowman Chrome, Kobe Bryant, Mint 9. Nice looking card. Centered nice. Nice edges, corners. Not sure where they went wrong with this one. Um... It's just a beautiful card. Well, then we have the 98 Bowman's Best Kobe Bryant near mint to mint eight. 
a lot of foil on this card a lot of things can go wrong with it but still glad to have it in an eight glad to have it slabbed and glad to have it in my collection and rookie card 96 xp kobe bryant in a near mint to mint eight it's just an awesome looking card And the next one, I'm actually going to put this one on display. It's one of my favorite Kobe Bryant rookie cards. A bit underrated. This is the 96 UD3 Kobe Bryant in a near mint to mint 8. Sweet looking card right there. A young Kobe Bryant going up for a dunk. Wow. A very underrated rookie card. And uh, next up, um, actually, I want to leave this one on display for a while. Uh, you know, I kind of fell in love with this um, 2003 Upper Deck uh, box set. It's a LeBron James set. They're all rookie cards, and, um, you know, there's not too many out there of him wearing that high school uniform. This is a clean photo right here. So this is the 03 LeBron James box set. It was a rookie card in the mid nine. I've been buying these for dirt cheap. I've been buying these in nines for thirty to forty dollars, which, well, I think when it's all said and done, when his career is over, these cars are definitely gonna take a spike. I mean, you know, those tops um, rookie cards, those star rookie upper decks, might be out of a lot of people's price range, but this is a uh, it's kind of kind of a hack. Uh, a life hack to pick up some LeBron James rookie cards and um, yeah, as, as long as they're out there I'm going to keep buying them same set 2003 box set high school uniform sweet looking card love this one right here it's a cool photo And for the price I paid for them, it's, well, I almost feel guilty. <laughs> this one on it, man. I, I don't, I'm, I'm really not going to say how much I paid for any of these cards, but I'll tell you about this one. This is a Near Mint to Mint 7. I paid $12 for this shipped for a LeBron James rookie card. It's a nice photo, too. Can't beat that. And uh, next up, we have a uh, 1994 Upper Deck Jason Kidd, one of the greatest point guards of all time. This one's in a mid nine. It's a rookie card. Love this card. And um, yeah, I have a thing. Of, I have a thing for these uh, mid to late 90s point guards. This is the 96 Tops Steve Nash rookie card in a mint nine. I love this photo. Love how um, him and Allen Iverson are going at it on this one. Another undervalued player, Kev, uh, Steve Nash. 95 SP Championship, Kevin Garnett Championship shots, die cut in a mint nine rookie card. Love this card. I remember pulling this exact card uh, back in the 90s. Glad to have it. Slabbed in a mint nine. Uh, next up, 95 Collector's Choice Players Club. This is that. It's kind of like a silver border with that Players Cl uh, Club stamp. It's in the near mint to mint eight. Again, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a pretty rare card. Not too many of them out there, not too many of them slabbed, and an eight is about as good as it gets. I mean, that centering looks dead on. Maybe some corner issues, but just a beautiful, beautiful Kevin Garnett rookie card. 95 Skybox, Kevin Garnett, Lottery Exchange, near mint to mint eight. Fifth overall, it's a great picture. Sophomore Kevin Garnett, 96 finest, mint nine. Awesome looking card. So uh, get into some shacks. 93 Skybox Premium, Shaquille O'Neal, near mint to mint eight. Future Shock. 
<laughs> this is a man. This is just a sweet, sweet photo. It's actually a sophomore shack. Uh, just that whole background, man. It just screams '90s. Glad to have this card. 92 Stadium Club Shaquille O'Neal rookie card near mint to mint eight. Shaq. Anything Shaq, man. I mean, man, he's just another guy that's undervalued. You could pick these cards up for real cheap. Get them all you can. 93 Ultra and for any Hardaway rookie card near mint to mint eight. Ninety-seven Bowman's best Tim Duncan, mint nine, cool card right there. Him and Hakeem Olajuwon on the same card. Ah, oh, this is a sweet card. Love this one. Now I bought uh, this one. I bought these next two cards from the same seller. So this is the ninety-three finest David Robinson in a gem mint ten. Picked it up at a decent price, and uh, he actually emailed me and said he had the refractor version and the near mint to mint eight. And if I wanted it, um, he, you know, to throw in <laughs> a few extra dollars. Not gonna see how much, but I took him up on that offer, and he gave me the refractor. Look at that. I mean, you could see the difference. I mean, back then these cards weren't uh, identified with refractor like they are today. You kind of had to just have a knife for it, but Back then, the 90s shine was so vivid, you couldn't help but to notice. Um, I was glad to have both of these cards in my collection. And uh, that um, seller was actually nice enough to uh, throw this in for free. And this is the um, 91 Hoops McDonald's David Robinson Olympic team. And this is in an 8.5. Gonna see some finest cards now. 93 finest Carl Malone near mint to mint eight. Man, I, I miss that mid to late 90s tops finest cards. They look so much better back then than they do today. Not only in in, uh, in basketball, baseball as well. This is a 95 finest uh, Grant Hill rookie card with the coating near mint to mint eight. Another underrated, undervalued player. 2007 tops rookie card, Kevin Gar uh, Kevin Garnett, <laughs> Kevin Durant. This one's in the near mint to mint eight. Spot on centering, love this card. You can still get these eights at a decent value, uh, decent price right now. Every time I see them, uh, I usually try to bid them out. And try to pick them up for right around fifty dollars. Two thousand eleven SP Authentic Kawhi Leonard rookie card, near mint to mint eight. College uniform, San Diego State. It's a sweet looking card. Local guy out here from Southern California. All right, and uh, next up, one of my favorite cards in this uh, video. 2012 Panini Hoops Anthony Davis rookie card in a mint nine. Very undervalued card. You, you can you can pick these up for fifty dollars all day on eBay. Along with this one, this is the 2012 Panini Hoops Damian Lillard Lillard rookie card in a mint nine. Another one you could pick up at a pretty affordable rate. Twenty seventeen Panini Don Russ Optic Kyle Kuzma rated rookie. This one's in a mint nine. Um, be on the lookout. He's gonna have a breakout season. I'm gonna be picking him up as much as I can, if, as long as the price is right. Which this stuff is taking a dip right now, so just be on the lookout. Superstar in the making. Twenty eighteen Panini Don Russ Trey Young rated rookie mint nine. This is another one that's uh, that's you can pick up for a decent price right now. Trey Young, 
just a superstar. One of the top players in the game. His cards are only going to go up. Twenty nineteen Don uh, Donruss Optic LeBron James T minus three two one purple parallel. Love this card. Matches the purple uniform. Awesome shine. Great looking card. Twenty nineteen Panini Spectra LeBron James, and this is a short print version. Put this in a thicker slab. It's a pretty thick card. Yeah, pretty much anything LeBron James in the Laker rookie card is uh, pretty valuable right now. It's one of my favorite players, Buddy Hield, 2016, Prism, Mosaic, Gem Mint 10. Man, look at that. Man, I'm not sure if the camera is catching that, but that shine is amazing. One of the deadliest three-point shooters in the game. Uh, picked up two of these, real big on this kid. Uh, Cameron Johnson, 2019, Mosaic, Silver Prisms. Picked him up in a two-card lot at a re ridiculously low rate. And the last cards we finally winding down. Was thinking it would take about 30 minutes to make this video. We're just a little over 21. And uh, this is the... 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Cam Reddish Fanatics Prism. It's in a Gem Mint 10. And I believe in this player so much. I not only bought one, two, not three. I bought four of them. All from the same seller. All in a Gem Mint 10. It's the future of the NBA right here. It's in my humble opinion, of course. And um, it's going to show you a few more cards before we end this video. Some other stuff that I picked up on, on eBay at a ridiculously low rate. Uh, these are going for some pretty good value in a PSA 10. And, you know, WCG, not a reputable um, grading company, but... Uh, these cards are legit. The Decade of Excellence, 96, 97 Flair, uh, Michael Jordan reprinted rookie card. And PSA 10s are going for over $300, so definitely going to crack this out. Probably make a video cracking these things out. And um, got these uh, 96 and 97 Flair Polychrome, Michael Jordan 10th Anniversary rookie card. And these are another ones. These, these, these in PSA 10s are going for some... Uh, Pretty good money as well. Definitely going to crack these out. Hopefully, if and when PSA opens up again, um, definitely going to get these over there. So, uh, that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, again, take a look at that tower. <laughs> uh, let me know. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you loved. Let me know what you hated. Uh, give me some feedback. Until next time, this has been Wax TV. See you next time.